Hi, this is Inval Innovation YouTube channel. In this video, we will see about how to build the egg boat from scratch. With the egg boat, you can print really cool designs on egg or any spherical shape object. This is a great STEM project to work with your kids and grandkids. Thanks to the original creator who provided the STL file in the Thingiverse. I also provided the link of the thingy posted in the Thingiverse in the description. With that being said, the agenda to be covered in this video are first we will see about the list of objects required to build and assembly of 3D printed parts and wiring to the CNC shield and then install softwares on your operating system, draw the diagram in ink space and then print. Now first we will see about the list of items required for this build. Print the files provided in the Thingiverse and you need one Arduino Uno two NEMA 17 stepper motor, one servo SG90 and one CNC shield V3, two count of A4988 driver to control the stepper motor, six jumpers for the CNC shield, one electrolytic capacitor, we are using 100 microfarad and 12 volt power supply for the CNC shield. And we also need one ball bearing, Parameter SAR 608-2Z, the 608 refers to the bearing series and the size. In this case, the outer diameter is 22mm, inner diameter is 8mm, thickness is 7mm. And the 2Z refers to the type of shielding on both sides of the bearing. Specifically, Z indicates the bearing as metal shield on one side. 2Z means bearing as metal shields on both the sides. And you need two O-rings to hold the egg and uh, the parameters are 2.65 mm refers to the cross-sectional diameter and then 16 mm which is the inner diameter. And then the one compression spring with the measurements 9 mm outer diameter and 45 mm in the free length. This is the length when it is not compressed. And you also need M3 screws and nuts of various sizes and then wires. Now we will see how to assemble the 3D printed parts. You can use eggboat underscore zero one underscore revision one STL file which is complete piece in a single build or you can print eggboat 01A, 01B and 01C like I did and use three M3 screws and nuts to join 01A to 01C and then use three M3 screws and nuts to join 01B to 01C. Now attach the NEMA 17 stepper motor to the back of 01C, align the egg boat 01C screw holes to the NEMA 17 screw holes and use the 4 M3 screws to secure the stepper motor to the 01C. Now attach NEMA 17 stepper motor to the egg boat 01B which is to the left hand side using 4 M3 screws. Now we have the base, we will do the circuit connection and then we will come back to assembling other parts wires to the two LEDs of the 100 microfarad capacitor, add the heat sink to the 2A4988 driver, unplug the six jumpers to the CNC shield, three on each side and attach A4988 driver to the top slots. Attach the pin stepper motor which is at the back to the lift driver and egg stepper motor which is attached to the left side of the base to the right side driver. Now connect the capacitor one end to the ground and another end to the reset. This is done to improve stability and prevent unintended resets. Now connect the servo red wire to the 5 volt and brown wire to the ground and yellow wire to the A drive step. Now connect the power socket to the positive and negative. Make sure you are checking the polarity of the power supply before connecting. If you connect the wrong polarity, this will destroy the CNC shield. Now we will assemble the egg holder. Egg holder has two parts. Left side is attached to the stepper motor and right side is attached to the base. And it has a screw mechanism. First, we will build the left side of the egg holder which attaches to the stepper motor. Insert the M3 nut in the hole provided in the print and screw from the top. Insert the left egg holder to this. There are two sizes of this. Use the size based on your need. 
align two slits and screw hole. Now we will assemble the right side of the head holder. Screw the printer nut to the long screw. The nut is used to adjust the length of the egg holder. Now attach the spring to the piece and attach the bearing to the sprint. Attach both these pieces. We need to be able to freely rotate this. Now we will install the pin holder. Connect these two pieces with the long M3 screw. Make sure these two pieces are moving freely. Attach the servo to the piece where it has the stepper groove. Use the screws to secure the servo. Connect the single arm servo horn and use screw to secure this arm to the shaft. Now insert the screws to the right side of each piece. We can add the rubber band or spring here to press these two parts to each other. So how this works is whenever the servo horn heats up, the top part moves. By that way, it disconnects the connection between the egg and then the pin. So whenever the arm moves down, that's when we can able to see it rides. Now we will install all the record software and code. First we will install Arduino IDE. If you already have Arduino IDE in your system, skip this step. Navigate to the Arduino website, click software and select operating system of your choice. I am selecting Windows MSI installer. Here click just download. This should automatically start the download. Open the downloaded MSI to install the Arduino IDE. This should automatically install the IDE. Once installed, you can open the Arduino IDE searching in the start menu. Install the Arduino USB driver. Now, navigate to the Egdino GitHub repository, the link of which I have provided in the description. Here, I am using Git to download the report to my local system. If you don't have the Git installed, you can download the repo as a zip and then unzip and rename the root folder to Egduno. I am copying the git link and open the terminal and enter git clone and paste the copied repo link. Now the repo is cloned here. Next download the ink space. Here we need to download 0.92.4 version the download link I have provided in the description. Download the exe format, open the downloaded file. Select the destination folder to install the Inkscape and click install. This will start the installation. Now we will install the Eggboat extension in the Inkscape. Open the Eggboat extension GitHub repo and click the releases in the right hand side and scroll down and download Eggboat underscore 281 underscore r1.exe. Now open the eggboat underscore 281 underscore r1.exe. Make sure the Inkscape extension and USB driver options are checked and click install. This will install the eggboat extension to the Inkscape. Also install the drivers for the Calm device software. The, now we have installed the Inkscape and the eggboat extension. We need to do some change to fix the connection between the eggboard extension and with the Arduino. Connect the Arduino to the PC. Make sure the CNC shield is not mounted on the Arduino. This is really important. If your CNC shield is installed on top of your Arduino, you may not be able to see the device in your system. I recommend removing all USB removal disk storage for now. Leave only the Arduino connected to your system. Now navigate to the Inkscape extension. It will be in the Inkspace installation folder. The default location is C drive and then in the program files directory you can able to see a Inkscape directory. Now in the Inkscape directory go to the share folder then to the extensions folder. Now you can able to see there is a file named ebb underscore serial.py 
this file we need to open in editor r i d e i am going to use the notepad editor since this file is in c drive and program files we need administrator privilege to edit this file so search notepad in the start menu and expand the options and click run as administrator now go to the file and select open the inkscape extension folder and select you can't really see any files here if you can't really see any files select all files in the drop down and select the file ebb underscore serial dot py once the file is opened open the device manager by searching device manager in the start menu and in the port section you can able to see arduino which is connected here it is connected to the com3 now in the ebb underscore serial dot py file in the find port function modify the initial value of ebb port to com3 by default it will be ebb port equal to none and in the if condition following this add another r condition as port square brace 1 dot starts with arduino in the device manager right click the arduino you know which is connected and select properties select details tab in the property selected select hardware ids and copy the second value and replace it in the port 2 dot starts with to this value you can able to find this complete find port function in the description save the file now we will open the clone repo in the arduino ide first build the project you can click the build button once the build is successful you can upload it to the arduino connector now mount this pin holder to the stepper motor shaft and use the screws to secure it now attach the arduino to the side of the case and use the screws to secure it Mount the CNC on top of this Arduino. Connect the CNC shield to the 12 volt power supply and connect the Arduino to the USB connector. Based on your pin size, there are like various pin holders available in the STL files. Insert the pin and use the front screw to tighten the pin to the holder. Now we have everything ready. Open the Inkscape, click File and select New from Template. You can able to see the egg board template and draw any pattern of your choice just drawing a zigzag pattern and once done select extensions and choose egg board and select egg board control fine tune this option as per your need i provided the pin up position as 5 and down as 16 you can change this as per your needs i fine tuned other parameters as per my settings and once everything is done click apply you can able to see this get started printing in your egg. You can also use SVG image. I use this SVG image which I found in the internet. Then open extensions and select egg board control and click apply. We can able to see the zip is getting printed on the egg. And you can fine tune the settings here. Thanks for watching. Your kids will enjoy printing. For more videos like this and topic related to computer science, subscribe to this channel. See you in next video.